morning. Morning. What are you doing? Making breakfast. Onions for breakfast? Because <laughs> we have no food left. The fridge is bare. So we have enough for an omelette this morning. And then I don't know what we're going to have for lunch. Not even any more teas. Look at the milk. It's overexposed. at the milk hardly anything and um, yeah so that's let me show you the outside what a munchie what a munchie you've got breakfast haven't you nom nom noms plenty of cat food Alice says it's okay to go outside. <laughs> You're going out, Alice. Not committed, are you? Just one pour out today. <laughs> Is it too wet for you? And she hasn't been out yet today. Day four on the boat and um, cabin fever set in. No, it's not cabin fever. Do you think it's cabin fever? I don't know. Lazy fever. Got heaps to do wash these windows what's the point if it's just gonna rain on them because it gets rid of their dirt mm. got no washing up liquid left yeah <laughs> that's true we um, need to go to the shop we have to go to the shop but we've got the bikes what do you want to do today i don't know see what i'm working with <sighs> How foggy it is. It's really unpleasant out here. <laughs> nice day just to bump it down. windows yeah I thought we were not there it's good just to get a layer of dirt off mm. so one of the things about being off grid as we are want to do <laughs> eventually is how to keep everything charged and yesterday we mentioned that um, we weren't going to film the bikes and that's because their phones had no charge but so we thought we'd show you around the boat and show you how we charge things when it is miserable basically on, on the narrow boat you have a bank of leisure batteries and they have a certain amount of capacity so you can only use that you can only use about about 50 to 60 percent of that capacity you can't use the whole 100% of the batteries because that's not very good for them. Which I didn't know. Did you know that before you looked into it? No. Like a year ago? No. 
We've got four batteries. My goal is to not let them go below 50% charge, which in when you're moored up with a shoreline is fine because you have a battery charger on board that is on all the time and it regulates itself so if the batteries are full it doesn't do anything but if they require charge so if you've been using your 12 volt sockets or um, appliances which will drain the batteries they, they just remain topped up so when you're cruising the engine charges the batteries which is fine so you need to run for a certain number of hours to reach full charge and everything I've read says that the first bit where you turn the engine on is great and then it trickle charges but the last tiny bit to get the batteries full takes a long time that's why we've been kind of not really running anything the last few days we don't but really need to run anything especially the other day because we, we had a non cruising day yesterday and today. Then, but because I was expecting us to have a cruising day today, I, well, we watched a few hours of TV last night, which used a bit of battery because the TV is 240 volts, so it needs the inverter. So the inverter takes a little bit of the charge and then in the conversion rate, and then obviously the TV is a bigger draw than something else. So we've got enough capacity in our batteries to run the fridge and the toilet for about four days if we don't do anything else. And if there's no solar. And that's with no solar. So I'm not 100%. We got a bit of solar yesterday. Yeah, we did. And we, we had a, I thought we had a, well, today we're not getting any really because. Because the cat sat on the solar panels. There's no, there's not really any sun or light really for them. We got this one. We've got to a point where we have to do some things for the art business. We have to do some photograph, photograph some things and some prints and whatnot. So we need some power and we have some things plugged in yeah. to get that power. So let's so, show. But basically I'm running the engine now to top up the batteries because they're, uh, I don't know. So we've got this really basic battery monitor so when your batteries are full it's it's just above the 12 line and when they're empty it's just below the 12 line or when they're, they're drained so it's not a great indicator I've been looking into getting um, a more accurate description which will probably be a little round when yeah. that plugs in and you hook it into That's the back idea. in and it'll show you a percentage um, you can get more high-tech ones that show you actual real-time draw and the good. batteries uh, and a little bit worrying yeah so but, but I've gone through and done a power audit of the boat previously or recently anyway um, to kind of work out what it is that we use and, and what we need the other thing that our boat has is 12 volt power sockets so it's got these three round holes I think they're really important so I was able to find this, I think I did a blog post about this months yeah. ago. It's a 12 volt plug and on the end is a cigarette lighter. So we can also light up. Well, yeah, <laughs> well, it's not a cigarette lighter, it's a cigarette lighter socket. So um, I bought to go with it a double uh, USB cigarette lighter thing. So it just plugs in. So we're just charging the phones off those. So that's all we're doing today really is recharging and then photographing and painting and hanging out. We were going to go for a bike ride but it's a bit bleak. And we're not cruising because it's raining yeah, and there's only locks ahead of us. Yeah. So we thought we might do a little bit of um, just to show you around how we recharge things if we're not moving so hopefully you enjoyed that and um, if you have any questions about power on a boat then put them below and Kath will answer them <laughs> if you have any questions about other things I'll answer them <laughs> yes Munchie wants to sit down 
and these things happen to be on when she's got.